The day has finally arrived, ladies and gentlemen. With the introduction of Series 19, we now have anti-lag turbochargers that can now be fitted to turbocharged vehicles. I'm super stoked to hop straight into today's video where we're going to be checking out anti-lag turbochargers, how they work, and how they go hand in hand with the brand new launch control that's just been introduced in the game. This is going to be an awesome video, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoy. Remember, hit that like button if you guys do, and subscribe for more videos similar to this one, all right? And stay up to date with the latest and greatest Forza Horizon 5 news and everything related to that matter, all right? So I'm in a 2019 Bugatti Devo. I think I'm going to throw it on one of my Ferraris, all right? But real quick, hang on. This one does not have an anti-lag turbocharger on it. It has some custom tune, but I put it on a long time ago. So it does not have the anti-lag turbo on it quite yet. And you guys will see the difference of uh, what I mean. Uh, I'm just going to break it down for you guys. All right, so we're going to get into all that in just a minute. All right, first things first. So launch control. You can hold down your normal brake, all right, and your gas, okay? That's not launch control. So as you guys can see, we're just bouncing off rev limiter. And let me show you guys what happens when you release the brake. It's going to spin out. Pretty bad launch overall. Now we're going to come to a stop here. All right, now I'm going to hold my hand brake. And you guys will see that LC, well, hang on, there you go. So you're going to see as soon as I hit my gas uh, while holding my hand brake, the LC will kind of blink there for a second and stay on. So as I'm holding my hand brake, you're going to go ahead and hold down your gas. Now, as you guys can see, we're bouncing off right at 3,000 RPMs. Now, that is launch control. Now, my launch will still not be as good as it can be because it's not currently building boost. Now, that is from not having an anti-lag turbocharger on. We're going to break all this down even further here in just a moment. Now, let me show you guys what happens whenever I let off my handbrake. A little bit of a better launch, obviously more traction and everything like that, and you get up to speed a little bit quicker than just holding your brake and gas. Hang on, let me get to a stop. There you go. Holding your brake, if I can even do it. Holding your brake and gas and just bouncing off rev limiter, you're just going to spin out the whole time, right? So obviously, even without the anti-lag turbocharger, the launch control in itself is going to be way better than what i just showed you guys as you guys can see way cleaner launch you can get up to speed a little bit quicker but without the anti-lag turbocharger you're not going to be building as much boost so allow me to show you guys what i mean by that so i'm going to go ahead and switch to one of my ferraris that i don't have like a custom tune on quite yet my fxx k evo should do the job that car does not have an option for a turbocharger, my bad. But this Koenigsegg might. So here we are, twin turbo. You're going to click into here, but now we have the option for a race twin turbo with anti-lag. So as you guys can see right down here, you guys will see how it changes a little bit from here to here. So the anti-lag turbo is going to be a major upgrade. So we're going to go ahead and get that installed here. All right, time to install everything. I'm going to show you guys how much better the anti-lag turbo makes a car, all right? So essentially what it does is it allows you to build boost. It also makes your exhaust go crazy. You guys will see that in a minute. But it pretty much just allows you to build boost well, while shooting a million flames a second. As soon as you guys hit the gas, I mean, it's pretty cool right there. So let me show you guys here how this is going to work. So originally with just the normal race twin turbos it would not build boost if you're sitting at about 3800 rpms it wouldn't build boost originally but now if we're sitting at about 3800 rpms it is building a ton of boost as you guys can see all the flames that are coming out of this thing now watch this launch this will literally blow you away left the handbrake and there we are perfect traction banging through all the gears that that's very impressive how, how well that works, honestly. So one of the best upgrade options I've seen yet has to be the race twin turbos with anti-lag. I mean, it really makes it crazy. I'm going to show you guys the boosted launch once again here with launch control. All right, 3,800 RPMs. We're going to sit here just for a second, build up about 20 pounds of boost. 
Get that exhaust shoot and some flames. And we're going to let off. Perfect launch. Couldn't have asked for a better one. So it's really crazy how... Whoa. Hang on a minute. <laughs> okay, didn't mean, to, didn't mean to do that. But it's really crazy how well the anti-like turbo just really transforms the launch control uh, effect in the game. How it really just transforms it, honestly. Makes it a thousand times better than just the launch control. Man, what is up with me in wrecking today? I mean, I swear. But pretty much, they just go hand in hand together. And that's one of the best things I've seen in the game yet, is launch control and the anti-like turbo. I mean, oh, and as soon as we're letting off the gas, look at that little flame flo flamethrower going down there. I'm not even holding the gas. Look at that. It's still shooting flames? You bet. Look at that. It's crazy. And then when you're hitting the gas, it shoots even more bigger flames. So it's pretty cool at the same time. Also, you're going to get an even better launch. So pretty neat stuff. But overall, that is it for launch control and anti-lag turbos. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new and you haven't already. And with that one, thank you guys so much for watching. And with that, catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.